hello students in this video let us learn how to calculate payback period then return on investment is nothing but accounting rate of return that is ARR and net present value they have given a problem a, a company is considering to purchase a machine two machines are available x and y costing rupees 50,000 so one do company yellow do one the machine and a purchase mode be kunta on the plan either so a company yellow do alternative with a one do machine x in on the machine y each costing rupees 50,000 yellow do cost would have 50,000 either and they have given earnings after taxation it is very important for the purpose of calculation of the cash flow they have given earnings after tax are expected to be as follows this part is very important earnings after tax is given so now will the NPV ge yava cash flow beku adiriti ARR ge yava cash flow beku matte payback period ge yava cash flow beku nadana thilukom beku but in the problem they have given earnings after taxation is nothing but cash flow in the depreciation matte tax anna kalad aadha mele deduct maadi aadha mele yenu cash flow idhe that cash flow is given in the problem and they have given given expected cash flow for five years for machine x and machine y so we need to evaluate two alternatives based on the payback period method return on investment method that is arr method the net present value method by considering 10 percent cost of capital that is discount factor assume straight line method of depreciation so to calculate depreciation we need to consider straight line method of depreciation and they have given discount factor up to 10 percent that is 0 0.909 0 0.826 0 0.751 0 0.683 and 0 0.621 this uh, this we require for the purpose of calculation of net present value uh, now before going to uh, solve the problem let us understand uh, the cash flow required to calculate these various methods see uh, in this problem they have given uh, cash flow that is earnings after tax uh, which means that they have deducted depreciation under tax from the cash flow and the e problem is earnings after tax and put it in the cash inflow in the depreciation method tax and deduct so uh, we need to determine the required cash flow uh, so for the purpose of calculation of NPV that is net present value payback period internal rate of return and profitability index uh, this is simple agi, except ARR accounting rate of return and a bit to uh, for the remaining uh, you know uh, methods that is NPV payback period IRR and profitability index the cash inflow we require is income or profit before depreciation and after tax namak beka giradu profit before depreciation matte after tax irbeko e cash flow beka gatte yavu da kendra uh, to calculate net present value payback period internal rate of return and profitability index ee problem alli nimge arr irr matte profitability index illa but nanu summarize maartta irodu net present value uh, payback period irr matte profitability index calculate maadbek anta helidre nimge yava cash flow bekandre profit or income before depreciation irbeku but after tax irbeku it can be calculated by deducting depreciation from the cash flow and tax then we need to add back the depreciation to determine or to arrive income or profit before depreciation and after tax in this problem uh, they have given cash flow minus depreciation and minus tax in the sense they have deducted depreciation and tax till here they have done so we need to add back only depreciation Suppose if they have given profit before depreciation, before tax, before depreciation, matte before tax put in rent maadbeka gittu, first to depreciation less maadi, adad mele tax na less maadi, then we need to add back the depreciation, arithi depreciation add, maad, add maadbeka gittu, but till leave problem mele yavaru, nimi ke depreciation matte tax na direct maadi kotti daare, nivu depreciation matra add back maadko beku for the purpose of calculation of NPV and payback period. 
ಅಂದರೆ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಏನು ಎಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಅವರು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದು ಮುಂದು ಏನು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮುಂದುವರೆದ ಭಾಗ ಏನು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತೆಗೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತೆಗೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಡಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ನ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅದೇ ಹೇಳಿ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಏನೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋದು ಕೂಡ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಡಿಡಕ್ಟ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಅಕೌಂಟಿಂಗ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ನೆಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ನೆಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಿ ಡಿಪ್ರಿಸೇಷನ್ so to calculate depreciation in the problem they have clearly stated that assume straight line method of depreciation straight line method of depreciation can be calculated by using the formula that is cost minus scrap value divided by life of the asset so in the problem they have not given any scrap value so the depreciation can be calculated Uh, by dividing cost from the life 50000 divided by life of the asset is 5 years in the sense since cash flow is given for 5 years we need to understand that the life of the asset is 5 years so 50000 is the cost of cost of the asset that is uh, that is uh, machine x and machine y uh, each costing rupees 50000 50000 divided by 5000 you will get sorry 5 years you will get 10000 depreciation per annum so we need to add back the depreciation to calculate earnings before depreciation and after tax in the problem they have given earnings after depreciation and after tax so we uh, we have already calculated depreciation that is 10000 rupees per annum so if we add back the depreciation to the earnings after uh, depreciation and after tax we will get earnings before depreciation and after tax so uh for machine x cash flows are 15000 20000 25000 15000 and 10000 so depreciation is 10000 for all the years because it is the straight line method of depreciation so depreciation amount will remains constant for all the uh, you know throughout the life of the uh, asset so if you add back the depreciation you will get 25000 15000 plus 10000 you will get 25000 20000 plus 10000 30000 you will get 25000 plus 10000 you will get 35000 15000 plus 10000 you will get 25000 10000 plus 10000 you will get 20000 so this is the earnings before depreciation and after tax the cash flow we require for the purpose of calculation of net present value that is npv and payback period so uh, after uh, determining earnings before depreciation and after tax we need to uh, multiply the discount factor with the cash flow to calculate present value of cash inflow for the purpose of calculation of net present value 25000 into 0.909 you will get 22000 uh, 725 30000 into 0.826 you will get 24780 35000 into 0.751 you will get 26285 25000 into 0.683 you will get 17075 rupees 20000 into 0.621 you will get 12420 rupees so if you make it total you will get 1,3285. this is the total of present value of cash inflow so from this if you did that the uh, original investment which has been made by the company you will get net present value so net present value of machine x can be calculated by deducting original investment from the present value of cash inflow which we have already calculated by multiplying discount factor with the earnings before 
depreciation and after tax it is 1,3285 minus original investment is 50,000 so NPV of the machine X is 53,285 so after calculating net present value of the machine X now let us calculate payback period and ARR of machine X here payback period uh, for machine X uh, we require cash inflow that is earnings before depreciation and after tax so 25,000, 30,000, 35,000, 25,000 and 20,000 since cash inflows are uh, non, uh, you know, uh, are uneven since cash flows are uneven so we need to use cumulative cash, uh, cash flow method so here uh, the original investment made by the company is 50,000 so we need to calculate payback period uh, uh, to determine the uh, years required to recover this 50,000. So for the purpose of calculation of the payback period, we need to find out cumulative cash flows. So for the first, for the first year, it will be 25,000. For the second year, it will be 55,000, which is more than the uh, original investment that is 50,000. So here payback period for machine X will be one year. In the sense, the company can recover 25,000 in first year one year plus so if company can recover 25,000 in first year remaining amount that company needs to recover is 25,000 right 50,000 is original investment if it can recover 25,000 in first year remaining amount it, it is required to recover is 25,000 so 25,000 divided by this 25 remaining 25,000 can be recovered by the company in the second year so that is uh, the cash flow of the second year is 30,000, 25,000 divided by 30,000, it will be 0 0.833. So, one year plus 0 0.833, it will be 1.833 years. That is the payback period of machine X. After calculating uh, payback period of machine X, now let us calculate ARR of machine X. So, the formula is average annual income. So average annual income after depreciation and after tax divided by average investment. So we need to calculate average annual income and average investment. So average annual income that is given in the problem 15,000 plus 20,000 plus 25,000 plus 15,000 plus 10,000 divided by 5 years because the cash inflows are 5 years. So you will get 17,000 as the average annual income for the purpose of calculation of ERR cash flow required is earnings after depreciation and after tax since in the problem they have given directly earnings after depreciation and after tax uh, we have to consider the given cash flow and uh, we need to calculate average investment uh, 50,000 divided by 2 the investment is 50,000 if you divide it by 2 you will get 25,000 as average investment so after calculating average annual income and average investment we need to calculate ARR 17,000 divided by 25,000 into 100 you will get 68% ARR for the machine X after calculating net present value payback period and ARR for the machine X now let us calculate uh, so the same for the machine Y as well. So before that, uh, now before that, let us calculate earnings before depreciation and after tax by add back the depreciation. So for that, we need to uh, calculate the depreciation. Uh, since the investment is same, uh, that is uh, fifty thousand for machine X and fifty thousand for machine Y, uh, depreciation will be the same that is 50,000 divided by life of the asset is 5 years it will be 10,000 rupees so if you add back the depreciation to the earnings after depreciation and tax you will get earnings before depreciation and after tax 5,000 plus 10,000 you will get 15,000 15,000 plus 10,000 25,000 20,000 plus 10,000 30,000 30,000 plus 10,000 40,000 20,000 plus 10,000 it is 30,000 so after calculating earnings before depreciation and after tax, we need to multiply discount factor with the uh, cash flow to calculate present value of cash inflows. 15,000 into 0.909, you will get 13,000. 
30,000 into 0.6 into 0.683 you will get 27,320 then 30,000 into 0.621 you will get 18,630 so if you make a total of the present value of cash inflows you will get uh, 1,2765 so after the calculating present value of cash inflows so now let us calculate net present value of machine Y here net present value of machine Y can be calculated by deducting original investment from the present value of cash inflow. The present value of cash inflow we have calculated as 1,2765 minus original investment 50,000 is given in the problem. So the net present value is equal to 52,765 rupees for the machine Y. After calculating net present value of machine Y, now let us calculate payback period of machine Y. Uh, the original investment is 50,000 given in the problem. The uh, cash flow required is earnings before depreciation and after tax which we have already calculated while calculating net present value that is 15,000, 25,000, 30,000, 40,000 and 30,000. Since the cash flows are uh, uneven, we need to follow cumulative cash flow method. So we need to calculate cumulative cash flow. Uh, for the first year it is 15,000. For the second year it is 15,000 plus 25,000 that is 40,000. For the third year it is 40,000 plus 30,000 it is 70,000. Uh, you know we uh, require to uh, recover that is 50,000 that is original investment. So we can recover 70,000 in the third year. So no need to calculate cumulative cash flow for the remaining years. So here we can recover 40,000 in second year so payback period is equal to 2 years plus so if we can recover 40,000 uh, in second year the remaining amount we required to recover is 50,000 minus 40,000 that is 10,000 divided by this 10,000 can be recovered from the cash flow of third year that is 30,000 divided by 30,000 so 2 years plus 10,000 divided by 30,000 you will get 0 0.33 2 years plus 0 0.33 you will get 2.33 years that is payback period of machine Y after calculating the payback period now let us calculate ARR that is accounting rate of return of for machine Y so ARR can be calculated by using the formula that is average annual income after depreciation and tax divided by average investment into 100. So we need to calculate average annual income and average investment first. So average annual income can be calculated by adding the earnings after depreciation and tax which is given in the problem 5000 plus 15000 plus 20000 plus 30000 plus 20000 divided by 5 years. So since cash inflow are given for 5 years we need to divide it by 5 so you will get 18,000 average annual income then average investment will be is equal to 50,000 is the investment divided by 2 it will be 25,000 so therefore uh, ARR is 18,000 divided by 25,000 into 100 it will be equals to 72% so now we need to select uh, the uh, um, you know machine which is best based on the NPV payback period and ARR net present value of machine X is more than the machine Y then uh, payback period of machine X is less than machine Y so in the you know in net present value machine X is better so in payback period also machine X is better because uh, the machine X can recover uh, the investment in 1.83 years only compared to 2.33 years of machine Y so in ARR machine Y is better that is uh, here uh, it is 68 percent it is here you know here it is 72 percent so the better project is machine X compared to machine Y thank you students